I have a colony of black worms in this 1.6 liter sustainable aquarium garden for about 9 months so far. Let's pull some black worms out to take a look. Black worms reproduce by fragmentation. They also can reproduce by laying eggs. Though I've never seen eggs of black worms to tell you anything about it for sure. Reproduction by fragmentation is an amazing ability of black worms we can use to grow a colony from a single worm. For the purpose of demonstrating this, I'm going to use this 16 oz plastic container to make a nursery. Fill it with declarinated water. Here I use water from another aquarium garden. Now let's cut one black worm in two. I cut the worm somewhere in the middle. Here you can see both parts of one black worm. Let's put both parts in the nursery. All aquariums, including this nursery, need live plants. I add a cutting of guppy grass. Also, you may notice some seed shrimp get in the nursery. So, here I have both parts of one black worm with seed shrimp and guppy grass. Both parts of the worm move independently regardless of which one is head or tail. Now I add some green algae water for seed shrimp. And let's add a small pinch of fish food flakes. Cover the nursery with a lid. The lid has a hole to allow air circulation while reducing water evaporation. I set it up on May 30th, 2021. Two weeks later on June 14th. You can see both parts of the black worm are alive and actively moving around. There is a lot of green algae on the walls and uh, bottom of the container. I feed black worms with a small pinch of fish food flakes twice a week. It takes time for flakes to sink down to where black worms will consume them. June 29th. One month since I split one black worm in two parts. Both parts should have already regenerated the missing parts of their bodies. Let's pull both black worms out. There are a lot of seed shrimp and a baby black worm. Well, the baby worm is actually a fragment of an adult worm. Let me get the other one. Here it is. So, one month ago I split one black worm in two parts and now I have three worms. Apparently one of the parts started fragmentation on its own. Now I can split each adult worm in two parts, doubling the amount of worms in my nursery. I split the worm on parts just as an example. Adult black worms break into parts naturally. It is the way black worms propagate or breed. Fragmentating is a way to survive for black worms when fish tries to eat them. We can enforce black worms fragmentation either by cutting them or providing them with obstacles. Gravel, rocks and seashells are great obstacles for black worms to fragment by climbing around. Here I feed them with dry guppy grass. I keep this nursery on a shelf with my aquariums next to a window away from direct sunlight. Two months later, on August 30th, let's scoop some samples from the bottom of the nursery. You can see black worms wriggle in the dirt here. The colony of black worms started from one worm growth, doubling every month or so. So, by the end of the third month there should be about a dozen of black worms, or so. Leave them alone in this nursery, there would be two dozens of worms by end of the next month. 
The number would double every following month until the colony reaches the capacity of the tank. The larger the container, the more black worms may grow in it. I grow black worms only to feed them to my fish. So, the next logical step is to put all these black worms into an aquarium with fish. Here is one of my one gallon sustainable aquarium garden with dwarf guppies. The black worms with seed shrimp and algae go all together into this aquarium. Black worms will find plenty of fish food to feed on and gravel to hide in this aquarium. The space of this tank allows for the colony of black worms to grow. And it will provide live black worms for my fish to feed on. That is the beauty of sustainable aquarium gardens. No efforts on my part. No water changes, no man-made filters, no noisy pumps, and the fish food grows right here. Also, I still have the small container with a colony of black worms. And it is all from one black worm. Have fun and happy aquarium gardens!